hello everyone. I'm Phil Nicastro. This is KPN Live's coverage of Boston High School football here tonight. We're in Salem for a very important game here tonight between the Gloucester Fishermen and the Salem Witches. Gloucester, as you well know, come into this game 3-0. Salem comes into this game 3-0. Salem racks up the points. They got 94 points in three games. The captains are at midfield right now for the coin toss. We've had our national anthem. And uh, this might be Gloss's biggest game in about five years. Salem is a scoring machine. Gloss is going to have to do something about that. First road game of the year for the Fishermen. Salem, they beat Arlington. They beat Danvers. And I... I believe they beat Lawrence Academy. Make it 3-0. I think Salem won the toss, but they are deferring. And Gloucester will get the ball first. Here on a Friday night in Salem, it's raining just a little bit. It's not a soaking rain, at least not yet it ain't. I brought my umbrella, just in case. And we're almost ready for some high school football here tonight. KPN Live coverage of Gloucester High Football. Gloucester in Division 5. Salem is in Division 6. They did that for playoff purposes. I don't understand why they put them in 6. They were in four last year. But whatever. So the Salem kickoff team is out there. Number one, Azuna. No, that's not Azuna, that's Albert Pujos. Okay, number 11, Julian Ortiz, that's who it is. He's kicking off for Salem. And well, here we go, we're almost ready for some football. And it rolls into the end zone. And the fishermen will come out on offense for the first time tonight. They'll take the ball out on the 20 yard line. First and ten fishermen on their own 20s to start the night here in Salem. First and ten Gloucester from their own 20. All right. Shotgun. Get Sousa in the backfield. You get trips right. The motion. Hand off Sousa. Up the middle. Gets a few yards. Gain of about three for Sousa. Making a second down seven for the Fisherman. Second down. If you want to make a donation to KPN Live? Go to tiny earl u r l tiny t i n y u r l dot com slash kpn live. Second down for the fisherman. Severino around the end picks up a few more yards. It's going to be a third down for Gloucester and ball carry for Gloucester by number twenty three, Jalen Severino. Severino picked up third down. Picked up about three or four yards and brings up a third down and about four for the fishermen. So the fishermen are facing a big third down play early. Yeah. 
And the fishermen need to stay on the field. Hand off. And didn't quite get the first down. Got a couple of yards, but I don't think they got to the 30. One yard shot. So what do you do here, the fishermen? Do you take a chance early in the game to go for it on fourth? It looks like they're going to. Fourth and one. Fourth and short for Gloucester. Yeah, and they're going to go for it. So Gloucester is good. You can't give the ball to this offense. All right, an early fourth down play for the Fisherman. Tight formation. Oh, offside Salem. So, the Fisherman were given the first down by Salem. We'll take that any day of the week. Now it's first and ten. From the 34. Let's go, make it up! Great job by Winfeld to uh, draw him off sides with the cadence. All right, first down, 10 for the fishermen. Winfeld calling the signals. Hand off to Souza again. Souza finds a hole. And he loses the ball, and Salem recovers it. Oh, no, they're going to call him down. They're going to call him down. Knee was down. Okay. Ball carry for Glossa by number nine, Caden Souza, second down. He gained, he gained about six yards in that play, second down four. No, Dino, they're all the same. They're all the same, Daniel. In measurements. All right, second and four for the fishermen. Motion. Pass. Out to the flat. Complete. First down, Gloucester. All right. Nice little play there for the fishermen. Kusumano, I thought you were going to show up tonight. Pass caught by number two, John Gucciati for Gloucester. Good for a Gloucester first down. Nice play by the fishermen. They pick up another first down. So it's first and ten from their own 46. Fishman spread it wide. Motion. Fake. Winfeld keeps it up the middle. And he gets taken down, but another good gain for the fishermen. Ball carried for Gloucester by number 11, Cameron Whitfeld. Second down. There was a quarterback, there was a designed quarterback keeper. The fishermen are in a second down and two. They're inside Salem territory now. Nice little drive the fishermen got going here. To start the game. Second and two. Motion. Severino keeps it this time. And he can't get around the corner. Fishermen lose yardage on that play. Third down for Gloucester. The third down and... About six. Third and five. The ball is on the Salem 49. Third down. Up the middle. Oh, a nice little push there. Did he get the first down? Did he get there? No, not quite. But it's going to bring up a fourth down and manageable again. Ball carried for Gloucester by number nine, Caden Souza. Fourth and short. Fourth and short again. And you might as well go for it again. You're inside Salem territory. 
Winfeld does a good job on the count. He gets the cadence. He gets you to jump off sides. Here we go again. Another fourth down for the fishermen. This is the first drive of the game. They're eating up some clock, too. All right, here we go. Fourth down in about one, one and a half. Up the middle, and they got stopped. Oh, wait a minute. No, they haven't called them dead yet. But they stopped them. Yeah. Salem with a stop on fourth down. Turnover on downs first and ten, Salem. So the, so the fishermen are going to turn it over on downs. Inside Salem territory at about the, their own 45, 46-yard line. So we're going to see the Salem offense. Corey Grimes, number six, the quarterback. All right, here we go. First and ten, Salem. Hand off. And it goes. First play of the game. Touchdown, Salem. Touchdown, Salem. Number two, Devontae Ozuna. Devontae Ozuna. And that's not how you wanted to start on defensively for the fishermen. So we're going to go for an extra point here. See them will kick it. Snap ball down. Kick is up. And it is. It's good. Extra All point right. is good. So the teams head back upfield with the score. Salem 7. The Gloucester Fishermen nothing. And the Fishermen had the ball for about 6 minutes. And Salem had the ball for about 10 seconds. 7 nothing Salem. And there you see the referee going to the 40 yard line. the fishermen had a nice little drive there to start the game. They had a turnover on downs. They're going to get the ball again. They're going to do something very similar. They're going to keep the ball. As you saw, Salem just scored on one play. All right, here we go. And he approaches the ball. Caught by Gloucester. And good, good, takes it up the middle and fights his way up to the 40 yard line. Nice return. So the fisherman will have good field position to start this second drive. Five and a half minutes left in the first quarter. First and 10 Gloucester at their own 39 yard line. All right, here come the fishermen. Can't panic in this situation. Just relax. It's only the first quarter. Whitfelt keeps it. Runs around the end. And he picks up a first down. Nice run by uh, Cameron Whitfelt, the quarterback. Ball carried for Gloucester by number 11, Cameron Whitfeld. Good for a Gloucester first down. So Whitfelt picked up 10 yards, exactly 10. Yeah, he's right on the 50. So it's another first and 10 Gloucester. First and 10, right at the 50-yard line. Pitch out. Nice read, nice read. Pick up a couple yards in the play. 
a little option read there for the fishermen. Ball carried for Gloucester by number nine, Caden Souza. Second down. That was Souza, the ball carry. He picked up two yards in the play. Second down and eight. Here comes Gloucester again, second and eight. The trips left this time, single back, shotgun, handoff, up the middle, and it looks like another first down for Gloucester. That was, let me see, who was that? Ball carry for Gloucester by number nine, Caden Souza. Souza for Gloucester, first down. Okay, that was Souza again. It's another first down for the fishermen. So the fishermen are racking up some first down. They're racking up some yardage, but they're behind seven nothing. The time of possession. Well, the fishermen had the ball just about the whole quarter. There's uh, three minutes forty five seconds left in the first quarter. Another first and ten for the fish. Get off again. Souza up the middle. He gets taken down. Another first down. Ball carry for Gloucester by number nine, Caden Souza. Caden Souza. Been the work Good for a Gloucester first down. First and ten. First and ten Gloucester on the Salem 23-yard line. So once again, the fishermen are moving the ball. And we have a timeout call by the Salem team. Well, both teams are three and zero. Kind of early to be talking playoffs, but when you consider it's an eight game. A window. Is it? This is already game four. A lot of people feel the Salem team might be the best team on the North Shore, along with Peabody. Here we go. First and ten fishermen. Salem, let's see what they did. They make some adjustments in that line. All right, here we go. We'll get trips left. Hand off. Souza gets to the outside. Bounces it out. And he gets back, uh, gets a few yards. Ball carried for Gloucester by number two, John Gucciardi. Well, that was Gucciardi. Second that down. Okay, Gucciardi with a nice one. He gained seven yards. Second down three for Gloucester. Clock continues to run. Two minutes, 40 seconds left, first quarter. On a Friday night in Salem, the rain... A Appears to be holding off for now. We'll see. 7 nothing Salem. Lost him on their second possession. Up the middle again. Not much of a gain that time. That was Souza. He may have gotten a yard. But it's going to bring up a third down. I want to thank you all for tuning in tonight for, to Cape Ann Live. There was no gain on that play. Oh, third and three. Third down for Gloucester. Fishermen are in the huddle. All 
right, here they come. They break the huddle. Look for Souza again. Now we have a movement. Is it on Salem again? No, he's going to call it on the Gloucester team. False start on Gloucester. Oh, I thought Salem moved. It's going to bring up a third and eight now. All right, third and eight. One ten left, first quarter. Clock is ticking. Fast first quarter. Here we go. Third down and eight for the fishermen. Winfelt. And he gets sacked. Fishermen were going for the pass on a third down and eight. And Winfelt got sacked. It's going to bring up a fourth down and long now. Salem tackle by number 59, Yadiel Castillo. Fourth down, let's Gloucester. See, let's see what the Gloucester team does here on the fourth down and long from the Salem 30. Do you go for it again? You might as well. The field position is not going to change that much if you punt here. Unless you pin him inside the five. But it's a fourth down and about, let's see, 10... 12, 17. Fourth down and 16, the scoreboard's saying. And Gloucester calls a timeout. All right, let's see what they're going to do here. Because they are on the same. Timeout, Gloucester. Salem 30. Maybe they'll change their mind and maybe they will punt the ball. Do a coffin corner, get it inside the five yard line. Fourth down and 17. Not much you can do here with the playbook with that, unless you just throw it in the end zone. All right, comes Glosser out of the timeout. They get right to the line of scrimmage. Fourth and long for the fishermen. Whitfelt passing. Throws it down there. It's caught. Touchdown, fishermen. Touchdown, Gloucester. On a fourth down and 17, the fishermen throw a 40 yard touchdown pass. Number eight, Chase Goulart. Chase Goulart was the receiver. And Cam Whitfelt found him wide open behind the, behind the defensive coverage. All right, seven to six, and the fishermen are looking to tie the game here with the extra point. All right, Whitfelt kicking. All right, that was the last play of the first. Actually, this will be the last play, and the kick is blocked. So Salem will maintain the lead. Extra point is blocked. Number one for Salem, Albert Pujols. Albert Pujols blocked it, and not the baseball player. But seven to six. But what a nice pass that was by Whitfeld to Goulart to get the fisherman on the board and back in this game. So, but the fisherman going to give it back to Salem. And the teams will switch ends of the field. That's why the quarter's over. And we're starting the second quarter now. All right. All 
All right, other games on the North Shore tonight. You got uh, Beverly is at Masco. You got Winthrop is at Danvers. Marblehead at Peabody. Amesbury is at Ipswich. Hamilton Wenham is at North Redding. North Redding is the kickoff. And he cuts it up. And Salem gets inside Glossa territory. Return for Salem by number 35, Shane Field. First and 10, Salem. St. Mary's of Lynn is at Bishop Fenwick. Triton is at Essex Tech. In Manchester, Essex. Flag on the play. Is on the Schober, is at the Schober Tech. And do we have a penalty? It's on Salem, okay. On the kick return. Personal foul on Salem. Personal foul. We're going to bring him back. Okay, that helps the fisherman immensely. All right, St. John, tomorrow, St. John's Prep is at LaSalle Academy. And tomorrow, Pingree is at Proctor. And that's the North Shore teams in action this weekend. Okay, here we go. It's first and ten Salem. They've only ran one offensive play the whole night as we start the second quarter. And it went for a touchdown. Hand off. I got another flag. And here they go again. Touchdown, Touchdown Salem. Salem. Number 35, Shane Field. The Salem's run two plays and they've scored two touchdowns. I thought I saw a flag, but apparently I didn't. And I guess it was true about the Salem offense. They score whatever they want. They take the lead 13 to 6. They're going to kick the extra point. Snap ball down. High snap. And no good. No extra good. point. No good. Okay. All right. The teams head back up field. Salem leads it 13 to 6. <laughs> the time of possession of this game is uh, it's all glossed up, but they trail at 13 6. To make a donation to Cape Ann uh, Live, uh, go to uh, Tiny Earl, T I N Y U R L dot com slash Cape Ann Live. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in tonight. And Salem's ran two offensive plays and they've scored two touchdowns. Lots has had the ball all night and they've scored once. They're going to get the ball back again. They trail at 13-6. All right. There we go. They kick it off. Nice boot. Glosser has it. And they get it up to about the 18-yard line. Good coverage by the Salem team. Salem tackle by number three, Quinn Bronco Ryan. First and ten, Gloucester. Rocco Ryan, the tackle. Good special teams play by Rocco Ryan. So here come the fishermen again. They trail it 13 to 6. And they're going to continue to just eat the clock. But they have to score on these drives. All right, here we go. First and 10 Gloucester at their own 18. Showing a trip's right. Souza again. 
He's getting pushed back this time. Second down for Gloucester. No gain on that play. They bring it back to the original line of scrimmage. Oh, actually, they give him a yard. Okay, second and nine. So the Salem team comes as advertised. They said they could score points, and I guess they can. They've scored 94 coming into this game tonight. 51 of them came against one team. That was that was the first game against Arlington. All right, second and nine for Gloucester. Winfell keeps it, bounces it outside, and doesn't get much. He gets about a yard. He tried to bounce it outside, but he couldn't quite get there. Third down for Gloucester. Third down and seven for the Fishermen. Third and seven. Yeah, they make it third and eight. Whitfeld has it, throws it. Is it intercepted? Yeah, it is. It's intercepted. Well intercepted by number three, Quinn Rock O'Ryan for Salem. First and ten, Salem. Quinn Rock O'Ryan with the interception. And now Salem set up and in Gloucester territory with a 13 to 6 lead. All right. Number 6 Grimes. <laughs> Azuno the running back. Number three again. Gain of about five. Ball carry for sale by number three, Quinn Rocco Ryan. Second down. Rocco Ryan, Quinn Rocco Ryan with the ball carrier. Second down, six. Salem doesn't get, get into a huddle. Yeah, one yard gain. It's going to bring up a third down for Salem. Ball carried to Salem by number two, Devante Ozudo. Third down. Thirteen to six, Salem, Lacey. Third down for Salem. Oh, this bad snap. He throws it out there. It is completed. Oh, no. The fisherman had it in a bad snap. But Salem found a way to improvise. Pass caught by number two, Devante Ozuna. We have an Flag on the play. Is it Winfeld? Yeah, it's Cameron Winfeld, number 11. Uh-oh. He went back down again. Oh boy, he's the starting quarterback for the Fishermen. Oh, but the Salem, did they get the first down on that play? It looks like they did, yeah. Although they haven't moved the chains yet. They know they're working on Kim and Whitfeld, the starting quarterback for Gloucester. But we have a penalty on Salem. Okay. All right. That that play's coming back because of a penalty on Salem. And then Whitfeld got up. Well, that's because he's a good athlete, Denise. 
Hey, Jim, how you doing? That was a penalty on Salem. And it looked like a personal foul, too, so they put it way back. So it's third down and about 15. All right. Third down and 15 for Salem. And the fishermen got to stop him here. They have to. Clock is running. 8-10 left, second quarter. Grimes heaves it out there. Touchdown, Salem. Number Touchdown, three. Salem. Number three, Quinn Rocco Ryan. Quinn Rocco Ryan. It was about a 45-yard touchdown pass. It is 19-6, Salem. Yeah, they're going to go for two to get it to 21. They get to the outside, and the fishermen stop it. All right, 19-6. Salem leads it. Two-point conversion, no good. So the fishermen will get the ball again. But this Salem team, they can rack up the points. 94 coming into the game. About 123 now, I believe. All right. We'll see if Winfeld comes back out, the quarterback. I hope he's not injured severely. Didn't appear to be. Looks like Grimes is going to do the kicking this time. Corey Grimes just threw a 45 yard TD pass to Rocco Ryan. Booms it down there. Glossa has it. And they get it up over the 30. Right at the 30, where the fishermen will go on offense. 7.52 left, first half. And the fishermen are going to do all they can to get in the end zone on this drive. First and 10 Gloucester from their own 30-yard line. Here we go. First and ten gloss. I got trips left this time. And a gain of about three for Gloucester. That was Souza again. <coughs> Caden Souza. Been the workhorse for the fishermen so far this season. Seven and a half minutes left, first half. 19 to 6, Salem leads it. Here comes Gloucester again. Second down. Seven. Motion. Kept it up the middle. Good run there. That was number 13 and number 23. That was Severino. First down, Gloucester playing quarterback. He's, all right, and number 23 is in there. Uh, uh, Severino, he's quarterbacking right now, number 23. So Winfeld has not come back in the game. Here comes Severino, number 23. 
Severino was a sophomore. So it's a first and ten Gloucester. Severino hands it off. And a gain of about four, maybe three or four. Three for Souza. Ball carried by number nine for Gloucester, Caden Souza. Second down. Second and seven, he gained three yards. Clock continues to sit a tick. We're under six minutes now, 5.50 left in the first half. Number 23, Severino is in there at quarterback. He keeps it. He takes it up the middle and he goes nowhere. Might have got back to the line of scrimmage. Third down for Gloucester. They give him a yard. Third and six. Well, that was a generous yard. Thank you for tuning in tonight. For the Gloucester Salem game. Both teams are three and zero. Comes Gloucester. Yeah, nothing. Nowhere up the middle. And now you're going to have to punt. It brings up a fourth down. Fourth down for Gloucester. Another injured player for Gloucester on the ground. He's getting up now. It was Ethan Mahoney. He appears to be okay. But it's a fourth down. Fourth and seven. And Severino is out there to punt. You see Severino. <laughs> Severino gets it, and he booms it away. Nice kick there. And if, and, they, and if Salem Ball was in, he's down. He's down. So the fishermen catch a big break there. So Salem's going to stop them deep in their own territory. Inside the 10. But the fishermen going to stop playing some defense. Nineteen to 6 Salem leads it. 3.49 left in the half. They can't let Salem score again. First and ten, Salem from their own nine yard line. Salem's on their own nine. But the Salem team, it comes at they come as advertised. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, Salem, first and ten on their own nine. They hand it off. Good gain. Ball carry for Salem by number two, Devante Ozuna. Good for a Salem first down. Devante Ozuna. Picked up about 10. First down. I have to give him 11. First and 10. There's a pitch play. They cut it up. Cuts it back. 
Big yardage again for Salem. They get it up over the 50. Ball carry for Salem by number 35, Shane Field. Good Shane, for a Salem first down. Shane Field with that inside pitch play. Boy, they're really creative on offense, are they, Salem? First and 10 at the Gloucester 49. Grimes. Valium himself. He's going to go deep here. And they got him. They got him locked up. Are they going to sack him? Yes, they do. I think that is a sack. Or did he get back to the line of scrimmage? I think he did. He got back to the 49. So it's not it's not going to go in the books as a sack. But the Second fish, down for Salem. But the fisherman had him on the run on that play. So it's second and ten. Clock continues to run. Grimes hands it off up the middle. Gain of about six. Brings up a third down. Salem's in a hurry up. A minute and a half left. They have timeouts remaining. I believe they do. They've only used one. Grimes is in the pocket. Throws it out there. It's caught. They get inside the 20. Ball caught for Salem by number one, Albert Pujols. Albert Pujols, the receiver. Good for Salem first down. Good for Salem first down. Timeout Salem. At the Gloucester, let's see, 19. The football team would like a special, give a special thank you to the following families for hosting team dinners. Corey and Angel Colazzo, Laney and Scott O'Malley. So there's 118 left, 119 left here in the first half. And the fishermen have got to keep Salem out of the end zone just to stay in this game. Jump around. Salem, first and ten. Grimes rolls out. He's looking, throws it out there. It's caught. Inside the five, it gets out. Well caught for Salem by number four, Logan Abood. Logan Abood was the receiver. Boy, he's Grimes. He's, he's poised in the pocket. Salem get right to the line of scrimmage. They run the ball this time. Oh, good defensive play by Glossa that time. All right, so the Glossa defense makes a big play. Second down for Salem. It's a second and goal. All right. Grimes rolls, he rolls, throws it out there, and it's incomplete. Okay, was it a, wasn't a fumble. Okay, no, it wasn't. Incomplete pass, third down. So that would stop the clock, make it a third down, and goal for Salem. 
with 37 seconds remaining in the half. Yeah, it'd be great if the fisherman could keep him out of the end zone here. Third and goal from the nine. And here we go. Grimes has it. He rolls. He rolls. Roll, look in. Throws it. It was caught. Ball caught for Salem by number three, Quinn Rocco Ryan. Quinn Rocco Ryan catches it. Fourth down. But it's a fourth down now at the five. So what's Salem going to do here now? They're going to call a timeout, I think. And maybe go for a field goal? Timeout, Salem. 28 seconds left. It's a fourth down play. They're in pretty good shape. 19-6. to six. They don't really need a touchdown right now. A field goal would do them good. We make it 22-6. Well, let's see what they decide here. Next week, the fishermen will travel to Winthrop. All right. Here comes Salem. the defense. Here they come. All right. Fourth down. They're going to go for it. What do we got to do? We have another timeout. That time it's on Gloucester. Timeout, Gloucester. The Salem showed that they were going to go for it. But Glossa calls a timeout. <laughs> Nineteen to six, Salem in the lead. The dynamic offense. They score quickly. And they score often. Nineteen to six, Vincy. Fourth down, Salem. This is the last. No, well, won't be the last play. Twenty-eight seconds left in the first half. Here we go. Fourth down, Salem. Keep it out there. And the fishermen are going to stop them. Okay. They kept them out of the end zone. And they didn't get any points at all out of that drive. And that's a win for Gloucester. Another injured player for the fishermen. But wow. Salem will turn the ball over on downs. But there's only 28 seconds left in the half. Fishman should just take a knee uh, and go to the half. They're deep in their own territory. First and 10 from their own four. like Whitfelt is going to come back in. It's good to see these are right. No, it's not. No, no, it is Severino again. Okay. All right. All 
Okay, first and 10 Gloucester. Hand it off. They take it right up the middle. And they lost the yard, and they just didn't let the clock run, I think. Second down for Gloucester. Yeah, no one's stopping it. That was the last play of the first half, I believe. Yep, yeah, it's going to be three, two, one, and. So, at the end of one half, Salem Witches, 19. And that's the half with the score. Salem, 19, Gloucester, 6. Research here at St. Jude is very important. It gave my daughter a second chance at life. Because we have donors that believe in what we're doing, we can really move our research forward much faster. St. Jude is working to drive the overall survival rate for childhood cancer to 90% in the next decade. And we won't stop until no child dies from cancer. Because of you. Gracias a ti. Because of you. There is St. Jude. All right, looks like Severino will do the kick in number 23. We'll see if he continues to quarterback the second half. Salem will receive the second half kick. All right, I'm almost ready. All right. Sevy approaches the ball and he booms it downfield and Salem receives it. Plenty of room. Oh no, you can't let this happen. All the way. Opening kickoff, second half. Touchdown, Salem. Salem touchdown. Number two, Devante Azuna. Devante Azuna. And that's what you didn't want. 25-6, Salem. Devante Azuna, one of the superstars on this Salem team, wins the opening kickoff back to start the second half. Salem will, uh, let's see what they're going to do. Are they Are going to kick or are they going to go for two? It looks like they're going to go for two. They keep it. And the fishermen stop them. All right, Grimes kept it. Two point conversions, no good. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jamie. <laughs> All right. Salem will kick the ball off to Gloucester. It's 25 to 6. Salem leads it.
All right, looks like Grimes is going to kick for sale on number six. All right, Grimes is going to boot it away. And it goes out of bounds at the penalty. I like your optimism, Gabriel. So that's a penalty on Salem, but the ball comes out to the, I believe, the 40 or the 35, one or the other. He kicked it out of bounds. So Gloucester will get half. First and 10, Gloucester. So Gloucester will get half decent field position here. Well, the ball is placed on the 35. Okay. All right. Here we go. First and 10 fishermen on their own 35 yard line. Severino throws it, it's caught. Ball caught for Gloucester by number two, John Gucciardi, Gucci tackled by number one for Salem, Albert Pujols. Gucciardi, the receiver, gain of about seven for Gloucester. Second down. So second down, three for the fish. <coughs> Early third quarter. Hand off, Gucciardi. Can he get to the outside? No. No. They lost the yardage that they just gained in, in plus one. So it's going to bring up a third and nine. A third and 11, I mean. Oh, no. Third down for Gloucester. Third and eight. Okay, they blew the whistle. Okay, they blew the whistle uh, when the forward progress stopped. All right, here we go. Third down, eight for Gloucester. Sevy throws it out there. It's incomplete. Cucciati was the intended Pass receiver. incomplete for Gloucester. Fourth down. Brings up a fourth down. And they're going to have to punt. You just can't do that. You just can't keep the ball right there. You're going to have to punt. So Severino will go back to in punt formation. There you see him. He booms it away. Gets a good roll. No, it came back the other way. And so Salem will take over on their own 35. All right, 25-6 Salem. Ten minutes left, third quarter. First and ten for Salem at their own 41-yard line. Correction, 36. All right. First and ten Salem at their own 36. Hand off. And the fishermen come up nice this time. All right. Good defensive play by Glossa there. So second down, 10 for second Salem. Second down for Salem.
Grimes. Oh. And again, that looks like some miscommunication for Salem there. I thought Grimes looked like he wanted to hand it off, but the player wasn't there. He took it himself, and the fisherman getting behind the line of scrimmage. So it's going to bring up a third and long for Salem. Third down. This is a big play for Glossop. They expect to stay in this game. They got to stop him. I want to thank all you folks for tuning in tonight. Third down and long for Salem. Grimes looking, looking. Throws it out there. It's caught. And did he get the first down? He sure did. Ball caught for Salem by number three, Quinn Rocco Ryan. Rocco. Good for a Salem first down. It was Rocco Ryan again. So Salem maintains possession. And that's really all they need to do. First and ten. Hand it off. And the fishermen come up to make the tackle that time. It was a short gain. Second down. And second down, Salem. The ball's right at the 50. It's like second and eight, it looks like. <laughs> His name is Corey Grimes, Mike. Grimes, he's looking, looking, heaves it out there. Oh, nice defensive play by the Gloss of D back. That was Severino. A flag on the play. Get a flag on the play. What do we have? Looks like it's going to go against Salem. Yeah, it's going against Salem. Five-yard penalty. So it brings it up a second and about 13. Second and long for Salem. Grimes looking, looking, and throws it out of bounds. Third down. All right, so it brings up a third down. Third and long for Salem. Seven oh nine left, still in the third quarter. Looks he's looking. He's looking deep. He goes downfield deep. And it's incomplete. All right, good coverage by the Gloucester uh, D-backs there. And that's a fourth down, and finally, Salem's going to have to punt the football. Pass incomplete, fourth down. So Gloucester will get the ball. Gucciardi back deep, number two. So Salem in punt formation. Gets it. And he booms it away. And they let it roll. And it's going to go down to about the 10-yard line where the fishermen are going to have to dig themselves out of a hole. All right. 
Beautiful kick for Sailor by number 11, Julian Ortiz. Julian Ortiz. First and 10, Gloucester. With that punt, got a good roll. First and 10, Fisherman. I believe they're right at their own 10. So we'll see if the Gloucester offense can get something going. First and ten, Fisherman at their own ten. Severino, back at, still quarterbacking. He keeps it, runs it up the middle. Gets about six or seven yards on the play. Second down. Second and four. All right, second down four for Gloucester. Gloucester needs a big play. They need to get in the end zone quickly. Sevy. And what do we got? We have a timeout, Fisherman. Timeout, Gloucester. So with 5.52 left, third quarter, Fisherman are facing a second down and four. They call a timeout. Once again, Severino was quarterback, and Cam Woodfelt is not in the game. Hope he's okay. for Gloucester. Severino, he's looking, throws it, and it's intercepted. Pass intercepted by Salem, number 35, Shane Field. So Salem will take over and downs. At the Gloucester 19 yard line after the interception. Here come the, the Witches. Hands it off. And gain of about five. Ball carried for Salem by number 35, Shane Field. That was Shane Field. Second down. Another injured Gloucester player, number 17, I believe. Holding his leg. Gloucester, one thing they don't need. That was a gain of five on that last play for Salem. They make it four. Thank you for tuning in tonight. KPN Live coverage of Gloucester High Football. And moving off the field. Oh boy, he's having a hard time putting pressure on that leg. 
me some help. Balls on the 15. Second down, six Salem. I mean, if they score here, it's probably lights out. So there you see Grimes getting the play from the coach. Hands it off. Cuts it back. Ball carried for Salem by number two, Devante Ozuna. Ozuna the ball carry. I think he got a first down. First he down, Salem. They're inside the 10 now. It's first and goal. But the clock continues to run. 440 remaining third quarter. Hands it off. Step up and the fishermen get them that time. Ball carried for Salem by number 35, Shane Field. That was Shane Field, number 35. And, and Salem just killing some time right now. Second and goal from the five. Grimes has it. He was going to pitch it, but he takes it back inside. And they take him down. He gets down to about the two. Ball carry for Salem by number six, Corey Grimes. Third down. Okay, it's third and goal. Third down and goal for the Salem team. Grimes hands it off. Number three gets in the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown, Salem. Number three, Quinn Rocco Ryan. Quinn Rocco Ryan makes it 31 6, Salem. And, yep, this Salem team is very good. Still three minutes to go, third quarter. They're going to go for two again. They went it up in there, and the fishermen hold them. Okay, good. All right. No, no, they give it to him. He got in. Two, two point conversion is good by number 35, Shane Field for Salem. Field got in. I thought they held him out, but I guess I guess they didn't. All right, 33 to 6. Salem in the lead. Salem will go to 4 0 in the year. And Gloucester will probably fall, will fall to 3 and 1. I don't think this destroys Gloucester, but uh, probably knocks him down the rankings a bit. Thirty-three six Salem. And Salem will kick it off back to Gloucester again. They boom it away. And the fishermen fall on it. I 
at their own 16-yard line. First and 10, Gloucester on their own 16-yard line. <laughs> So the fisherman offense comes out on the field. They're trailing it 33 to 6. Here comes Severino. And Woodfelt probably done for the night. Let's hope he's okay for next week. Let's hope they all are. All right. Woodfelt, I mean, uh, Severino at quarterback. He ends it off. Souza just got back to the line of scrimmage. Ball carry for Gloucester by number nine, Caden Souza. Second down. Salem team doing jumping jacks on the field. Second down and ten. Hey Cynthia, how you doing? Severino throws it. It's picked off. And they're pushing the pile. Pass intercepted for Salem by number two, Devontae Ozuna. Devontae Ozuna. Flag on the play. There is a flag. <clears throat> there will still be Salem ball, despite what the flag is. It's a post-play foul. It's on Gloucester. It's a face mask. Personal foul, face mask on Gloucester. So we're probably going to have running time shortly. Anyway, Salem has the ball inside Glossop Terry, inside the five. And it's a touchdown, Salem. Touchdown, Salem. Number two, Devante Ozuna. Ozuna again. And that makes it Salem again, they're going to go for two, are they? Or are they going to kick? No, they're going to go for two again. No, they are going to kick, okay. There's Grimes with the holder, okay. Ball down, kick is up. It's good. Extra point is good. All right. Teams head back up field with the score. Salem 40. The Fisherman 6. 149 left in the third quarter. But I think we're at the uh, time where they keep the clock running. See what happens. I want to thank all you folks for tuning in tonight. To make a donation to KPM Live, go to Tiny. Earl.com slash KPM Live. That's Tiny Earl. T I N Y U R L. Tiny Earl.com slash KPM Live. That's Tiny Earl. T I N Y U R L. All 
All right. Salem kicks it downfield. Lost the has it. His knee was down. He caught the ball in the air, but his, his knee was down. So Gloucester's offense will come out. First and 10 Gloucester at their own 12 yard line. And they will go on offense again at their own 12. At least the rain held off. All right, here comes Gloucester. First and ten with their own twelve. Hand it off. And it goes nowhere. Christian just can't get anything going. They started the game pretty good in the first quarter. But once they fell behind by two or three Second scores, down. it was tough to come back. And Salem, with their dynamic offense, they just took off. As we are entering the final minute of the third quarter, 105 left. All right. And off again. Oh. Big hit there. Third down. Third down along for Gloucester. Another injured player. He appears to be shaking it off. Looks like Mahoney again. Ethan Mahoney. But he's hanging in there. He's staying in the game. And yeah, that will be the last play of the third quarter. Okay, we're going to go to the fourth quarter. The play was switched on the air. They're under the field. Salem leads it, forty to six. That's the end of the third quarter. Salem leads it, forty to six, and I. I think we're going to have running time. Let's see what happens. But Gloucester will go to 3-1 and one on the season. It's not the end-all, be-all, but their playoff hits, their playoff changes took a hit tonight. Doesn't totally eliminate them. They, they can rebound. No question about it. They're at Winthrop next week. So as we start the third, uh, the fourth quarter, it's third and ten. And they come to Fisherman offense into your screen now. And Severino, a quarterback. Oops, sorry. Intercepted again. Another flag down. Interception Salem. He got into the end zone. But we have a flag. Right. 
What are they calling here? Looks like it's going to be Salem's ball, regardless of what the penalty is. No, no, the fishermen are going to maintain possession. Okay, I think we had uh, an. We had a pass interference on Salem on that last play. No, Salem is on offense. Okay. All right. They get their second stringers in there. Nice tackle there. Number 10 for Gloucester. Ball carried for Salem by number 11, Julian Ortiz. Julian Ortiz was the ball carrier there. Second down. So Salem's making some wholesale substitutions now. <laughs> Timeout Gloucester. Timeout Gloucester. And that will stop the clock with 9.50 remaining in the game. Nope, they're going to keep it running. Yep, they're going to keep it running. 40 to 6 Salem. You're the Glossa team. Can't hold your heads down. You got to get ready for Winthrop next week. The Gloucester came out to start the season. They had three straight home games. They took care of business at home. And now they here they are tonight at Salem, facing one of the best teams, probably the best team on the North Shore, them in Peabody. And that's another team lost that has to play later on this year. All right. Hand off. Gained him a few yards. Ball carry for Salem by number 27, Angel Nolasco. Third down. Hand off. And good defense there by Gloucester. They lose yardage on that play. No, Gloucester still was in this game at the Ball half. Ball Salem by number 24, Elvis Espinal, fourth down. And when Salem came on, they ran the opening kickoff back to start the second half. And... That was a killer right there. It's a fourth down play. Salem's going to go for it. Fourth and 16. Throws it out there. And it's incomplete. And Salem will turn it over on downs. And the Gloucester will come out on offense again. Pass incomplete. Turnover on downs. First and 10, Gloucester. So next week at Winthrop, and I believe it's a 6.30 start again. Of course, we got soccer here on KPM Live. Field hockey coming up with Lisa Olson. Whoops. So 
Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Gloucester's on offense. And now Salem calls a timeout. I don't know why. Timeout, Salem. It's not like you're going to lose the game. Unless he wants to get players in. That might be a reason. Gloucester has the ball on their own 20. Here comes Gloucester, first and 10. Passing, rolls out, he's going to keep it, he's got plenty of room, and he gets the first down. Nice run there by Seravino. Jalen Severino, sophomore, came in for the injured, came in Whitfeld. Hand off. No room at all. No room at all. Four minutes left in the game. Clock is running. Next week at Winthrop. Fishman need to rebound. You're going to turn the page. Hand off. And another short game. Be a third down for Gloss. That was a gain of one. Once again, thank you for tuning in tonight. So the fishermen are facing a third and nine. Severino. Takes it outside, and he gets nowhere. And it's going to bring up a fourth down and long for Gloucester. Fourth down for Gloucester. So it's fourth and about 13. We're under two minutes left. Earlier tonight, Whitfeld threw a touchdown pass to Gore. Look at the fishermen were looking good at that point. But Salem got a couple of quick touchdowns and uh, handoff up the middle. 
and they're going to turn it over on downs now. But that was the game right there. Turnover on downs, Salem, first and ten. Okay, and we're under a minute now. We had a minute, yeah, one minute left. And I think Salem's just going to take a knee here and go in victory formation, and we'll call it a night. That's going to be the final play. Yep. We're under, under 40 seconds now. And the teams are just going to let the clock run. Salem will go to 4 and 0. Oh. Gloucester drops to 3 and 1. Uh, going to turn the page next week. We go to Winthrop. All right, everybody. I want to thank Jim Capello. And that's all for tonight for KPN Live. Have a great weekend, everybody. Mm -hmm.